Hi all, I have an absolutely stunning game to show you this morning. Leela against the mighty Chiron in the mighty Division 1 of TSEC. So up till this point, Leela had drawn the first three games. What was going to be the result of this game? How was this going to be played? Now the opening book, so Leela against Chiron, the opening book, Sicilian Defence Territory. These are the opening book moves given up to here. So we're in Sicilian Shaveningen territory with this Shaveningen pawn formation here. It is prone sometimes to the carrier's attack. Now Leela outer book plays now bishop e3. We have bishop e7 and now carrier style g4. We have b5, g5, knight ft7. Now do we want to protect this pawn? Well actually h4 has been seen before but uh, this is very interesting as well. This has been seen before as well, a gambit to kind of open up this g-file. So there's a welcoming committee of black later castles after grabbing this pawn. Black did grab the pawn. And we have queen d2. Bishop takes e3, queen takes e3. What has black done? Slightly weakened d6, given this g-file road to the king, which could be really dangerous if black castles kingside. So black is cautious now to castle on the king's side and plays actually... Uh, sorry, plays actually queen e7. We have white castling queen side and now bishop b7, so really delaying castling king side. King b1 and now knight c5. Now we have b4, knight a4, knight takes, b takes, rook hg1, g6. Now e5, which seems to give black a bit of comfort in that it closes the center here after d5. What is Leela up to? Yeah, if black had played d takes, this looks a little bit scarier with an open center. And in fact, immediately hitting the rook. This position looks very nice for white indeed. So it seems very sensible to play d5. And now Leela indulges a second pawn sack with h4. Yes, this is a real dynamic treat on the chessboard this game. h4. Now this is actually taken. <laughs> Engines are pretty materialistic. If they can't see a reason, why not take this pawn? Uh, if knight c6, h5, this could be quite handy. This is good for white taking on a6. So black has to be careful there. So say uh, in this position, queen c7 instead, to be able to take with with the queen. Sometimes the h pawn is kind of useful here. That's dangerous again. So say queen takes again. Bishop d3 holding c2. So the h pawn is being used as a kind of battering ram there. And this kind of scenario is quite nice for white. Uh, it's not bad at all. So um, it's taken. So what is this about? Rook h1, queen h, rook h6. So there's the possibility of doubling rooks and crashing through on the h file. In the meantime, black can try and counterattack maybe on the c file. Queen c7, rook d h1, knight d7, hitting e5. That's protected. And actually, with that tempo again, knight f8. So, Lena is two pawns down. Is she out of her league in this division one? Is Chiron just going to win loads of material? Well, you know what? Sometimes you do need to have faith in Lila. To quote Scent of Woman, which I think is a required film for everyone to see, what comes to mind is this quotation from his fantastic speech. You hold this boy's future, well, in our case, girl's future, in your hands, committee. It's a valuable future. Believe me, don't destroy it. Protect it. Embrace it. It's going to make you proud one day. What did Leela play here to make us proud? This is a really unbelievably fantastic idea, which my Stockfish 10 doesn't register with at all, actually. So this is really beautiful stuff with the king in the center, two pawns down, white to play. If I give you five seconds to pause the video, what would you play here? Okay, bishop b5 check. 
Yes, Leela wants to get an octopus knight. There was a famous Karpov Kasparov game with an octopus knight, and here we're going to get it. Now, after this check, yeah, it's taken. Uh, so let's just run through this now after taking. If it's not, it's going to be pretty bad news. Uh, so knight takes b5. And we're going to get an octopus knight coming to d6. So queen c6. Knight d6 check. King d7. And here you might think, well, is the idea knight takes f7? It's actually plausible to play knight takes f7 despite d4. So, for example, knight takes f7 d4 runs into check. And yeah, there's a check there. And uh, if rook g8, in fact, the knight can come to d6 for a different reason now to d4. And there's a check here, rook takes h7. And this is favorable for white. That is plausible, but it wasn't actually the idea. The idea was actually b5. Not knight takes f7, b5. And we have here a really interesting move in this position. Again, there's a temptation to be getting back some material, maybe knight takes f7. But this is a really stunning move, which brings to mind to me a quiet positional move, which outraged Kasparov in Man versus the Machine uh, in one of the Deeper Blue matches when Deeper Blue played a quiet positional move crushing any counterplay now here with the octopus knight on d6 there exists such a move which is just saying look you've got no counterplay and i've got potential pawn mobility with two connected past pawns potentially uh, to just protect and make the white position proud one day just support these two connected past pawns but there's a move preliminary move here really really powerful can you guess if I give you five seconds here. Okay. Really, really casual, super style, stylish move. So a whole piece and two pawns have been sacrificed. Just queen d4. Queen d4, behold. Just gets rid of counterplay. All this d4 stuff is ruled out. There's potential support for c4, but these rooks are in the wrong place. If it's really about these two connected past pawns, you might ask, well, how do the ro these rooks help the two connected past pawns here? How is this possible? Now, you might have also been wondering, just for the record, about knight takes f7. Again, uh, rook, c, rook c8 actually is annoying. For example, this, and then that's quite annoying, hitting b5. And if even if black loses that rook, it's like perpetual check time, for example. So there's no point. No, queen d4. Forget f7. We have rook b8 and now c4. And this is really, really dangerous for black. We have bishop a8 being played. On d takes, there's knight takes b7 check. White has a big advantage. On bishop c6, there's king a1. And here, the pawns start rolling after c5 with the octopus knight. Uh, so, uh, so bishop a8, rook c1 was played now here queen b6 was played let's have a quick look at d takes here there's rook takes c4 rook c5 is strong for example queen b4 now the octopus knight is really huge here and in fact this rook has time to come back and assist the other rook remarkably and now there's big ideas like check here and this ends up being really nice for white, crashing through basically, getting all the material back with interest pretty soon in these variations. So uh, we have queen b6, c5, queen a5. Now rook h2, yeah, the rook simply wants to come and support with the other rook, the two connected past pawns on the queen side a really fantastic conception really beautiful the casualness of this the outrageousness of this game 
two pawns sacrificed then a piece the king's still in the center there's disconnected rooks there's lack of coordination of black's pieces they look really silly but numerically they represent a big material advantage but they look so silly and we have actually black desperately giving up well the exchange rook takes b5 here on h5 as an example black's going to get rolled over with rook b2 extinguishing any possibility of an exchange sack and say c6 check queen c5 the king is in big trouble here and combined with the two connected past pawns this is vicious in fact knight, you know knight f5 double check check and this is checkmate as a disaster scenario so we have rook takes b5 check while black has a chance to sack the exchange but now look rook b2 these are spectator pieces the classic spectator pieces even this one they're all like spectator pieces on the first row this is outrageous queen c6 rook b6 queen uh, king c7 just giving up the queen now if queen c7 c6 check and then queen b4 is devastation looking at those dark squares check rook takes a8 white's got a massive pass pawn there and the exchange up and a crushing attack so uh, we have king c7 just giving up the queen so white is regaining material with big interest here and the queen's bouncing around now plunging into potentially e7 that's guarded but now h7 drops now the queen bounces around again <laughs> around the board <laughs> now this way it's been a right jab then a left jab in boxing terms left jab rook a8 check queen b4 rook b8 queen e1 right jab coming in have you ever seen anything like this game queen e7 getting into that nasty e7 square nasty for black rook b4 check d4 just desperate stuff it's absolutely desperate stuff here so that is taken rook c3 king b2 check rook b6 rook d6 now queen takes f7 black's out for the count adjudicated as a win for white here both engines thought white was crushing it here let's give an example continuation say rook b5 rook takes c6 check queen takes e6 check check and then e6 gaining back even more material even more of a material advantage for white such beautiful chess is being played at tsa it's unbelievable Leela is the superstar of Division One at the moment. Fantastic domination of Division Two to to get this promotion, and she is really showing her stuff now. After the first three draws, maybe some of us were a bit concerned. Division One being in a much more powerful league, perhaps, but she delivered here in such beautiful style. One for the history books. I hope you enjoyed this game video. Please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessmobile.net. Play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis for these games in advance. All the updated analysis from the improved menu learn from the masters. YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. All really appreciated. And also check out the new Teespring store in the description for form pawns and other chess t-shirts. Okay, thank you very much.